So after my last Lego science video got so much feedback, I figured that I should bring you along for the Lego unboxing and prep. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our eighth year of homeschooling while we've just finished, and we will be heading into our ninth year of homeschooling. And today, I wanna to share with you what we will be using for science. We are going to unbox and prep. Let's go. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So, just to catch you up to speed, I really, really wanted to use Legos in studying physics for the upcoming school year when I will have an eighth grader and a fourth grader. You guys know if you've been here for any period of time, I enjoy combining as many subjects as I can, but especially science and history. So for science, I was looking at something we could do all together, but that would also serve the purpose of teaching physics. So I actually did not find exactly what I wanted, but I found something that I think could be a little bit better. So I went ahead and through the legoeducation.com, I found a steam kit for middle schoolers and I have everything over there. Um, I will link my video on it right up here to give you that in-depth look if you want that, because I'm not gonna rehash all of that here. But Lego Steam Kit for middle schoolers. And then it has, I mean, it has tons and tons and tons of projects and coding and all kinds of things. It wasn't specifically physics. So they also offer Brick Q Motion, which will be soon be discontinued because they are actually launching another product uh, for Lego Science that will be out in, um, in August of 2025. Now there's not a lot of information on what that is other than it will have kind of the same like 40 lessons, be standards aligned to use in classrooms because all of these things are actually intended for the classroom. Um, so there's not a lot of information, but I knew that I wanted a little bit more of that physics hand on hands-on approach that I could get from the Brick Q Motion kit. So I did in fact purchase both the Spike Prime kit and the Brick Q Motion kit. Now I'm going to give you a look inside of them, but just so that you know, I did get two kits. They are big, they are meaty, and currently Brick Q Motion has not, at the time of filming this, been discontinued yet. But I was unsure, and so I feel like it's worth noting that the Brick Q Motion does have the build guide, just like every other Lego set ever, inside the box. And then my assumption is that the lesson plans that go along with the build guide will stay available through the teacher's resources on the Lego education website, but I cannot promise that, but that is my assumption because that is where you learn we are building this because these are the things that you can learn from building this. So that is going to be really important to have. And again, my assumption is that that will still be there because there are still gonna be people who have purchased it if it's still on sale. So I will let you know if at any point that changes, but for now, why don't we just crack open these boxes? I've got some amazing things that I do want to show you and uh, we will just chat through opening them up, getting all the things in all the places and just kind of all around getting ready for Legos, physics in our homeschool for the 2025, 2026 homeschool year. Let's go. Okay guys, in an effort to reduce background noise, I'm gonna wear my little microphone so I hope it works out. Okay, so if you don't know, if this is your first video here, this year for science, we are using some kits from Lego. So let me just show you. I have the spike kit. Oh no, wait, better logos on the other side. I have the spike kit, spike prime for middle schoolers. So it's six to eight. And I have the brick Q motion. Now, 
I took these out of, they came in a, in one big box in like just a couple of days. It was shockingly fast, like shockingly fast. It came so fast. Um, they came in one big box and each one was individually boxed. And then it also had like a, like a zip tie that I cut off. So there are a few things that we need to talk about. We're going to start with the brick cue motion. But first and foremost, if you see these crates, awesome, amazing Lego quality. And then also this little lid, that's my fingers being just on the lid. Okay. So they click on, I love, love, love this storage, not to mention, boom, they stack. They have these nice little handholds. Let me see if I can get it in there right there. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk you through what we've got as I am prepping my box, because you will see what I'm talking about here in just a minute. Let me click it open. Okay. So to the side here, it tells you everything that you need to do. Okay. And on the back, it has my handy dandy guide, which is what I need to get my box set up. So here is my box set. Okay. I've got, I'm going to lay it out with my directions and I'm just going to get it built for you. Now, one of the questions that I had that I didn't know how to answer because the brick cue motion is being discontinued. Now the brick cue motion is being discontinued. So what happens to those lessons if I need them? It comes with the project guide. So no need to stress, your project guide is in here. I feel relatively certain that all of the lessons will also still be available online because they have no reason to get rid of them. Ooh, replacement parts, comes with replacement parts. Love it. All right. So I am going to super speed, get this set up, okay? And then we'll pop over and do the next one. So for now, super speed. It's a little Lego girl. That makes me happy. Okay. I'm kind of dying to know. Ha ha ha. Yes. It all stays in place, friends. It all stays in place. Okay. Let's get some of this back in the box, shall we? Okay. So here is the spike kit. Same box setup, just a different color. Where to get started. Um, and then here are the, uh, the stickers for going inside here. Um, I don't think that I need any of these stickers because I'm not labeling based on like group. Uh, but for the rest of this, absolutely. Okay, so one, two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Putting them on this side, it says. Okay. So here we go. I'm done. Okay, I'll hang on to the extra stickers because I can't. Now, like I said, uh, this one is app based. Okay, so your instructions, the things you need are going to be on the app, not in the box. Now you will see um, we've got charging cords because we've got like real motors in here. We have all kinds of things. So I'm just going to take out my labeled um, things for my bins. What is 13? 13 might be spare parts. Yeah, look at these little cool wheels. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. The excitement. And then number six. Okay, so we have a lot going on in here. As you can tell. I'm going to leave all of these guys in their plastics until I know, like, what to do with them. Yeah, 13, I think, is just the spare parts. Okay, so I'm going to uh, dump my other, my numbered bags. It's so easy. 
Number six goes in. Number six. That's it. It's it's literally that easy. Lego tips. I always hate that uh, it comes in so much plastic, but it is recyclable plastic, so keep that in mind. And I do like the setup being so easy. But then also, and I've made this mistake in the past, be sure that you are checking your baggies to make sure that every piece is out, okay? You don't wanna lose a bag, or you lose a piece. Some of these pieces are so cool. Now, since I made um, the video talking about what I was looking at ordering and how I had settled on uh, using these kits, I have had multiple people message me in a rage, like so mad, like, I can't believe you did this to me. We had our science plan all made, everything was laid out, and then you showed me something I didn't know existed, and now we are revising our plan. So guys, I gotta be honest with you, I will always be that friend for you. The one who lets you know about things you didn't know about, who then causes you to rethink your game plan. Because I love you. Okay, so both kits are now ready to use. I need to, I'm hesitant to open up those other packages, so I might just wait until we need them and do it then. Uh, and then also, I need to get everybody downloaded on the app. Let me flip through this um, this Brick Q Motion book really fast. Okay, so this is the Brick Q Motion set. They're showing you the different things that you can build. Really cool. All the things that move. Now I believe there are lesson plans online for this. So I'm gonna double check, okay? Because there's literally no explanation here on what we're doing or why we're doing it. But it is really cool. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I'm excited, guys. Well, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this look inside the two different kits that I do now have in my possession. Both kits are designed to support two students who I believe are working together. So that is really cool because that is my intent for how we will use it. Now, this was not inexpensive. It was just over $600 for the two kits and it did come incredibly fast. I'm talking like three days and was already here. It was so fast. I don't even remember getting a shipping notification. Like it was so fast they came. Um, yeah. And as you know, I mean, Lego products last. They just do. My husband still has them from his youth. Like Lego products are built to last. So that is really awesome. Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit that big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. I will have everything that I have shown you linked down below. Um, I hope because I got a lot of feedback after our last Lego science video. Uh, a lot of it was, how dare you? I already had my plans and now I'm having to change them because this looks so amazing, how dare you? And then also more information, requests for more information. So I hope that this, if you were a little on the fence or unsure, uh, just gave you a little bit more insight. So that's it. All right, guys, bye.